Congratulations, you did it. You are the champions. How proud a moment was it for you to see the boys lift the cup? Uh, it was it was fantastic to see them uh, doing it. I had it I had the picture in my mind um, two years ago when when we started working with these with these boys, uh, and it of course, uh, like I was saying inside, we had. We had to work really hard, we have to train in the snow, we have to go to the gym and have some tough sessions, we have tough sessions on the pitch uh, and they, they work really, really hard to have a moment like this and for me to see them uh, lifting a trophy and to see those smile in, in their faces is uh, it's a great feeling, it's, it's, it's why we're coaches at the end of the day, is to see these uh, feelings because they, they, they deserve it, they, they work, 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 work a lot on the pitch and they, they deserve it. And a little bit about the game as well. It looked to be a game of two halves at, at one moment, but then you took, you, your boys took the game by the scruff of its neck and, yeah. and you produced uh, a winning goal with one minute to spare. Yeah. We are, when we work with, with these boys, we, of course we want to dominate the matches. We want to have the ball, like we were saying uh, yesterday or two days ago in an interview. We want to dominate the game, we want to control the game, we want to have the ball, we want to play fast, we want to go forward. But there's as an opponent on the other side. So we also have to prepare them to suffer when they have to suffer, to defend low when they have to defend low, to counter-attack when the, when the space is there. So it, it's, it's, uh, it's good to see that they adjusted their actions um, during, uh, during the match and they were able to cope with all moments of the match with different uh, playing styles. That, that, that reveals a lot of football smartness and a lot of being humble. Okay, it's their time to have the ball now. It's our time to defend and try to counterattack. At the end, we got a penalty after a counterattack, so um, we we had control uh, most of the match. So uh, really, really happy. Uh, we had a good match plan, and we work with the match plan, the coaching staff as well. We work a lot. We saw start a lot of times, not because we want to adapt 100% to start, but because we want to preview any surprises that might happen. The boys had the homework done. Some of them, some of them had notes about how, how what to do in the match and started. They did it themselves. Um, so um, we're really, really happy with the whole process. Uh, it would be really unfair. I, I believe in football karma. It would be really unfair with all this process, all this work that we didn't uh, get the cup to Trondheim. And now we are the G16 champions. What next for the boys? How far can they go? They have to stay hungry. They're playing in Rosenborg. Uh, so next year, they are first year juniors. So they have to work uh, hard to be part of that team. Uh, they're going to play NM G19, and the expectation is for them to to, uh, to try to win it. Um, so I was telling them inside, just enjoy the day, enjoy the occasion because you deserve it. But Monday, m Monday we have training, and that's the first training for uh, NM G19. Congratulations. Yes, thank you very much.